Okay, so I right know I look crazy and um, we're just going to go straight into, you know, my eyes. So I'm going to pick my concealer. This is, this is so gone, but I'm not going to waste any more of it. So we're just going to pick some of the product and some concealer onto my eyelid to prime my eyelid. So um, I am just going to set this with, with some powder. I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder to set my eye. I don't really need a lot, but just enough so your make your eyeshadow doesn't move around. Going in with my Karis um, <laughs> palette. I haven't touched this like in months. In months. I didn't take this palette to a car when I was going, so I was like, okay. I'm definitely going to pick some colors out of this and then um, you know, start out with my transition color. So I'm going to go in with hmm. Hold up, sometimes I just need to test it out first. Okay, I know this is sort of a shimmer, but I really, really want that. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go in with this color first and then we'll come back to this one. So this burn orange shade. Okay, so you can see when I picked the pink product, it affected the um, eyeshadow transition, but you know what? It's good. We're still going to use that color, so it's kind of good. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll just pick that up a little bit just to make these two even. I'm gonna go in with another color so I'm gonna choose this um, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it but yeah if you do have the um, Karis Beauty 35F palette then you sure you know see the colors in here so I'm gonna put that inside my crease like in it Ooh, it's a lot of pigment Okay, so we're just going to blend it. And I'm using the Evita Joseph Diffuse Blender Brush. The first one I used was the Fluffy Crease Brush. I love that. I love that brush so much. I think this used to be my best brush, but I guess I quit that. <laughs> but yeah. Going with that same reddish pinkish color into the crease now because i want my um crease to be very defined I will, i'm going to pick this very very burnt art and we're going to go into the crease right here it's kind of a bit too light so i'm going to dab into the black a little bit just a little tiny bit. Oh, okay. Get that deeper brown. And the key, as always, is blending. Keep blending. And I'll go back in with the orange again and then blend. Wow. So this year, I thought of going very, very light this year, but it seems like I just want to pop. <laughs> I just want to pop this year, so. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to this eye. Now I'm going out with my fluffy crease brush and then just buff everything out. Just for it to blend. I 
out just like that okay so we're gonna put it away for now and we're gonna work on the glitter so I'm picking three all three actually I do own about four or five but I'm taking the Jcat's champagne kisses um, the um, golden pumpkin sort of orange and then amber jewelry so I'm going to mix all these two up and then pop them on before that I am going to use my elf glitter primer I really am trying to invest in the Benai glitter um, adhesive instead of this one because it's not that strong so I'm going to cut my crease with this instead so I'm going to use my Vita Joseph firm angled brush and I'm going to cut it I know some people do their um, eyeliner or wing liner before before they apply their glitter or glue but I feel it's the best way for me to be able to handle the glitter that's just my preference Usually I would put um, an eyeshadow as a base, but this time I wanted to try something different and wow. Okay, so I'm back with liner and I'm going to use my NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to use the Inglot. You know what, let me use my Inglot first and then I would use the um, NYX on top of it just to, you know, deepen that black and give myself that. <laughs> Types of looks going through my brushes like, sometimes you just can't find anything okay so I'm using my catty liner for these types of um, you know looks and yeah it will give you a more bolder um, wing liner so I'm gonna use that and draw my wing And then we're going to move on to the face. We'll come back to the eyes later. I usually want to do my lashes way later in my bottom eye. Uh, uh, so, hold up, hold up. I think it's the liner seeping through. Gotta get this glitter off and a lot of things for the eyes I don't need anymore off and then we'll come back. Okay, now that I've got it, everything for that is out of the way we're going straight to my foundation highlighting contouring or you know concealing contouring whatever you call it so yeah i'm going to use my mac foundation match master um foundation and th i usually i do like my studio fix fluid very very much but um this was said by this was actually recommended by Akai. She's right here on YouTube. You should check her out. And she said she loved this. And I was like, okay, I will get this and try. And I have been using it during you know December, but I don't know how I feel about this foundation still. I really don't know how I feel about it, but you know, I'm still getting there, so you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> just get right into it so I'm going to use my um, Evita um, face buffer brush I haven't used this in a while because I have been obsessed with my eco tools right here and I was like okay you know what let me just go with this bay today because you know she was bay so we're going to take um, two pumps I love full coverage like I've been dying for full coverage these days glitter I cannot reach for the solute tape so I'm just going to you know go over it it's not that bad but yeah okay I will promise an updated foundation routine probably after um, Valentine's Day or something you know after February so it's gonna go down my jawline So I guess one of the reasons why I didn't really, you know, understand this foundation is because this foundation, my color is 7.0 and it's actually very orange for me, even though it was my color, it's kind of very orange. So I got it anyway, but I'm going to definitely make it work. You know, highlighting and contouring sometimes conceals it, so... It, it, it makes it look like it's darker than my skin, but it's actually not. It's just more orange than golden because I have warm, very warm golden undertones. So, okay, so let's just highlight and contour and then come back with all that, you know, talk. <laughs> and I can say that it, it's sort of the same consistency as the um, Studio Fix Fluid, but the only thing is this one is much more lighter. Um, lightweight than um, the Studio Fix Fluid. I don't know. It's all good though. Oh, but I did one time mix it with my um, Milani Conceal and uh, Correct. Is it Conceal? Conceal and Perfect, and it worked marvelously. It's. I will try that in another tutorial, so you see. Okay.
Happy New Year! Oh my God! I know that I haven't posted. Do you know this is actually my third video? The two weren't good enough, so hopefully this will be. And I really didn't know if I wanted to do a talk through, get ready with me, you know, just anything. So I was like, okay, you know, just a little bit of talk through, and then you know, there's still stuff in front of me. <laughs> I haven't learned my lesson to get them off before I start talking, but you know what? Let's just go into it. Anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to start this year with a very light, simple, neutral look. And I was like, you know what? I did not do anything glittery. I Hardly during Christmas. I was like, okay, I'm just going to enter this year with Papal. <laughs> and yeah, I just did this really, um, how, how do I even call it? I don't even call this. I don't even know what to call this. But um, glitter. And I wanted a more rose goldy look. Glitter. You know, a little bit of me inside. A little bit of goldy. A bit of love. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But yeah, um, I did miss sitting in front of the camera. Lights, camera, action. Bam. 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 <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just so excited to be here right now. And um, I will I will promise an updated foundation routine and highlight and contour routine. It's been highly, highly requested. And I have done some changes. If you have noticed from my previous ones, I used to have really chiseled. And, you know, it's all going to work out in another video. I'm, I'm going to do that. And, yeah, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I miss you guys. And... I've heard your request on so many things, you know, you want to see, and I am definitely, definitely going to do it very soon, well, throughout this year. So, I guess my next upload is going to be a Valentine's Day look or tutorial, so I will see you then, okay? Okay, thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you like, and let me know what you think of the look in the comments below in my messy bun, looking all bougie. No, I don't think so.